Hey gang, welcome to the last question in this set. Here we go. Jackson went on five two-mile runs this week and six 1.5-mile runs last week. He burns 150 calories per mile ran. If his goal is to burn 3,600 calories over the three-week time frame, how many one-mile runs will Jackson need to do next week to reach his goal? All right, so go ahead and pause the video, two minutes and 15 seconds, and then press play when you're ready. So let's go ahead and get started here. The answer to this question is five. And let us know if you like this problem because we would love to include more of these type of quantitative reasoning types of problems. So go ahead, let us know. But here we go. Here's what we need to know. What are we talking about and why? First thing, just English, what's going on? Well, we're talking about this person named Jackson who is running and he has a calorie goal. And we are trying to figure out how many miles he has to run to reach his calorie goal. All right, so let's go ahead and figure that out. We're looking for how many miles. So we know that he's trying to burn 3,600 calories. So his goal is 3,600 calories. Great. Now let's go ahead and figure out, well, how many calories he's burned so far. We see here clearly that he burns 150 calories. I'm sorry, I meant to grab this. 150 calories per mile. Oh, so then we can go ahead and figure out how many miles he ran so far, multiply it by 150 to get the total number of calories. And then we can subtract that from the 3,600. So let's see, five two mile runs. So that's 10 total miles for this week, six one and a half mile runs last week. So six times 1.5, that's gonna be nine total miles. So this is last week, and this is this right there, which means it's a total of 19 miles run over that two week time frame. And so we see that it's 150 calories, again, 150 calories per mile. So if I multiply the 19 by 150 calories per mile, so we see that we have 19 miles at 150 calories per mile, we multiply that together, and we will receive 2850. So that's 2,850 calories. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead then and subtract that from the 3,600. So 3,600, we'll subtract 2850, and that's gonna go ahead and give us 750 calories left. Well, think about it. If every mile is 150 calories, I'm going to divide the 750 by the 150 because if we have 750 total calories left and every mile represents 150 calories, well, divide to see how many miles that is. So 750 divided by 150 is five. Five what? Five miles. So this is a, a reasoning problem in the sense that we are converting units, but not in the typical way. We're not doing like pounds to pounds. We're doing like calories per mile and stuff. This is something really cool and crazy. And we need to be used to, not all the way used to, but we need to be comfortable with the idea that these units are gonna change. The context is gonna change. The numbers are gonna change as well. So it's all about extracting the template out to see what needs to be done, what kind of puzzle you're dealing with. Once you figure out what kind of puzzle you're dealing with, then the problem becomes a little easier. So this is the last problem in the set. Go ahead, share in the Facebook group or email me. Let, let us know how we're doing with these. Let us know, hey, how, what you'd like to see coming up. So with that said, remember it's when you pass, not if you pass. If you'd like more help, read, check the description or the links above to see what else we can help you out with. So we'll take you in the next update. See ya.